Hi there, I'm Chi Alia and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of being a software engineer. So if you've clicked on this video, you're probably here because you're thinking about starting a career in software engineering or probably thinking about dipping your feet in the programming waters. Oh, I got words. If this is you, keep on watching. And when you finally decide to get started, check out my previous post talking about six key ways to get started. I'll put the link right here on the screen. These steps I put together from my own experiences. And yeah, just feel free to check them out. Before we go into this video, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right beside it to turn on the post notifications. Without much ado, we're just going to go right into the video, pros and cons of being a software engineer. So good news, bad news, where do we start? Okay, good news. Pro number one, working across different industries. Software engineers can apply for jobs across many industries from health to hospitality to finance, education, literally every industry needs some sort of software that supports their business processes. And obviously you'll still be working in your own field as a developer, but it's really cool to get a taste of how different industries work if you want to. Big pro for me. Number two, entrepreneurship and freelancing. This is a pretty great pro. With software engineering skills, you're able to go into freelancing and just be your own boss. There's so many great platforms of freelancing. I mentioned them in my last video, uh, from Fiverr to Upwork, freelancer, guru, the list goes on and on. Also, it's very common to see devs who have gained some experience just try to branch out and get started with their own startups. A typical nine to five is not for everyone. So as a software engineer, you get the opportunity to choose if you want to do that or just branch out and get your own thing started. Number three, future of work. This pro is just talking about job security. There's a lot going on around AI in the workplace. A lot of things are getting automated as time goes on. More and more softwares are created to make tasks easier and more efficient. The idea of machines doing some of these tasks is getting more normal. And this in turn increases the chances of job roles being made redundant. And a lot of people run the risk of losing their jobs. But this is not the case for developers. These softwares need to be engineered, tested, maintained. So on the contrary, more and more developer roles are emerging. You're right in the middle of it and there's really no pulling you out. Number four, a laid back working environment. In most environment for software developers, you'd see that there's a very laid back, chill vibe. Um, there's really no pressure to kind of have an office setting Although it's an office and there's a setting, but you know what I mean. A lot of companies try to create a space where everyone is just comfortable. They create a game arena, put up ping pong tables. You're actually encouraged to take multiple breaks because when you're working, you can kind of plateau. So long as your work is not slacking and you're on track with your timeline, you're good. The next one is remote work flexibility. This is one of the major pros of working in this field. You can work from anywhere, from home, you can work from a coffee shop, from another country. We have a few people on our team that clocks in from other time zones and I tell you everything just works. It's one of those jobs that it doesn't matter where you're working from. So long as you have your computer and a high speed internet and maybe coffee or tea or whatever you drink, you're good. Although a lot of companies kind of prefer that their employees come into the office, but I would say this is usually to promote maybe team collaboration and team bonding. Aside from that, if you apply for remote work and they feel you're the best candidate for the job, you're gonna get the job regardless. The next one is salary. <laughs> Now, this is one of the most common reasons for people to become software engineers. And obviously, when you ask some people why they became software engineers, they go, oh, it's just a great place to channel your creativity. You know, I have a passion for 
you know, writing in some low level programming code. They give a whole speech. And yeah, cool, it's all that, but best believe the money too is a factor. I mean, look at the stats. A software engineer in Australia earns almost a hundred thousand a year and this is for entry to mid-level. Most devs strive to get into the top software companies because obviously they compensate very very well. The salaries, the benefits, it just makes up for all the stress and the hard work that you have to go through in this field. You know, the final one I'm going to say is creativity. I'm definitely going to put software engineers up there with the writers and artists and other creators because you make something, you make this amazing thing out of absolutely nothing. You get to be very creative and obviously at the beginning you might not have a chance to do this because you're trying to kind of get used to the tools that you're going to be using. So that makes sense that you might not be feeling as creative, but as time goes on and you really get comfortable, it, you can channel your inner creativity and work on fun projects. So those are the pros from me. I think there were seven or eight. I'm not sure, or six. Now let's go into the cons. Number one, effect on health, particularly your eye and your posture. You sit at your desk all day and stare at your screen. This can really take a toll on your eyes and your posture. For me, I use this posture brace that I got off of Amazon. Maybe I should do an Amazon haul. Comment down below if that's something that you would like to see. Uh, yeah, back to the brace. So I use this posture brace and I wear it for about an hour every day just to kind of correct the slouching. And you have to actually be conscious of these things and find a way to um, correct them before it goes out of hand. This one is what I would say is a really big con for me. Also your mental health, because if you're a big outside person and you just love to stay in the sun, stay in nature and stuff like that, you tend to spend a lot of time staying indoors. If you're not a type of person that's okay with this in the first place, it can really take a toll on your mental health as well. Con number two, lots of learning. Honestly, there's a lot of learning involved when it comes to developing your skills. There's always something to learn when it comes to this world. There's always a new technology in town. Learning is a very important process in staying top of your game basically I don't really mind it I'm a type of person I'm very curious but if you're not the type of person that likes to learn and update and just you know kind of, you're curious in that way this might be a big one for you the next con is that it is very time consuming at some point being a software engineer can very easily become your whole life and your whole life becomes it all the learning that you have to do takes up a lot of time Time. When you're working, you might have just pushed an update and then broken something. You spend long hours trying to fix that thing. You might work overtime. You see yourself spending hours and hours of your own personal time trying to think about that one thing at work that you might have forgotten that possibly caused that error. It does really eat into your time as a person. Another con is that this career would really test your resilience. So in your journey, you're going to come across a lot of things that will increase your stress levels from understanding a code base, the code base that you didn't even write, um, to basically working under maybe a set deadline or working on a live production. Also debugging, debugging when you're running to an error and you just don't know where it comes from. You'd see that there's a lot of things that would test you here. You really need to be persistent. You really need to push forward. It could be very frustrating. It's very easy to just want to give up, it's to just pack your book pack your stuff and go. The final con I'm going to mention is that although there's a very high demand of people in these roles, it is a very competitive industry. It's made the best man win at the end of the day. A lot of devs are all looking to get into these top software companies. And so the screening processes are usually, 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 intense. Your skills have to kind of be top notch to get into one of these dream roles. From the screening exercises to the interviews, then again these top software companies will have a lot of benefits to working with them. So they 
actually put a lot of effort into like the screening processes and the interviews and they are all targeting the best people for the job the people that can work under pressure people that really deeply understand concepts there's so many so many people that have also applied for those few roles that you're targeting as well you actually have to basically just stay on track all the time keep up to date to prevent yourself from being obsolete it's a very competitive industry and you have to just stay on top of your game but at the end of the day you have to decide what's for you and what isn't what is a deal breaker and what you can live with that is it for this video thank you for watching to the end and i hope you were able to take a few things from this if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share with your friends as well as comment below tell me the pros and cons that I might have left off of my list. Click on the subscribe button to join the channel and the bell icon right beside it to turn on your post notification. This gives you an alert when I upload a new video. Connect with me on other socials, IG and Twitter, IG Chi Alia and Twitter Chi Alia. Tweet at me and let's be friends. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.